I hear time again how COVID-19 has stretched the NHS to breaking point. And this mantra repeated again this morning, the 15th of January, by a guest whose name I didn't hear as he was interviewed by Mike Graham on talk radio. Another talking point is what's called the cost-benefit analysis of these tiers and lockdowns. Are the sometimes extreme measures imposed on the population more damaging in the short and long term, or are these government's strategies the best and most appropriate way to live and deal with this virus? They are ruining the economy, and one could argue whether this is a deliberate strategy as part of a global agenda, and we won't really know if this is the case until it's too late. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of lives are being ruined, as schools and businesses are shut down, hospital appointments are cancelled or deferred, and people are for the most part ordered to lock themselves indoors. Why does a virus that has no or little effect on the vast majority of people merit all these huge downsides for the population? The truth is, it doesn't. Shield the old, the vulnerable, and let those that wish to shield continue to do so, but let others wishing to live a relatively normal life live it. That should have been the way of living with this virus from early 2020, but the government saw fit to ignore the Great Barrington Declaration and to continue to promote dystopia. I'll finish with these NHS breaking point headlines caused by COVID-19. Here's the NHS breaking point headlines in a pre-COVID 2019. Here's the NHS breaking point headlines in a pre-COVID 2018. Here's the NHS breaking point headlines in a pre-COVID 2017. And here's the NHS breaking point headlines in a pre-COVID 2016.